So sign into your account on celebrity.com and then go to start check-in. I will say to me, the celebrity check-in process did seem a little more streamlined than the carnival process I did for two previous cruises. So now it'll show you a message saying that you need to download the celebrity app prior to sailing, and then it will ask you who you would like to check in. It will then show you the first guest information, and then ask you what documents you'll be using for boarding. I'm using my passport, so I will enter the passport information, document information, and expiration date here. So here it allows you to add a photo, but I'm going to do that on the app after I do online check-in. I think it'll be a little easier to do it with the phone. Here you also acknowledge that you can use your photo for boarding and photography. Then you will put in your contact information and then your emergency contact information. Then you'll be asked all the same questions about your second guest, so enter that information in also. Then enter your onboard expense account information, select each user. It did default the credit card I'd used previously, but then you can also add a new card as well. It also looks like you can have a different credit card for each guest if needed. There is then a health acknowledgement that you need to read and then acknowledge. It then asks you to select an arrival time. So I did the check-in as soon as it was open for me, which was about 45 days prior to the cruise sailing. This way I wanted to have the most choices for arrival time. I was able to choose 11 a.m., which I believe is probably the earliest time you can choose. But the earlier that you can do the online check-in, the better, so you can get your choice of arrival times. You'll then go to the screen showing you're all set. You can look at your boarding pass. You could also print your luggage tags, depending on when you do this. When I did it, my luggage tags weren't available. I did get an email a couple weeks later telling me that my documents were ready and that I could print my luggage tags, so I did so then. Your luggage tag link may be available depending on when you do online check-in. Once I completed the online check-in, I used the app on my phone to add my picture as well as view my boarding pass or my express pass as they call it. If you go to edit check-in, you'll see what is complete and what still needs to be done. There is a health questionnaire that needs to be completed, but you cannot complete this till the day prior to sailing. If you click on travel information, this is where you can see the information that you added during online check-in and update it if needed. From here, you can add your photo. So this allows you to take your photo and upload it, but doesn't allow you to upload an existing photo from your camera roll. You can view your Express Pass from here, and if you have an iPhone, you can upload it and add it to your wallet so it's easy to get to. I'm not sure what functionality Android has, but that's how it works on the iPhone. The mobile app is also used on board. I will have a video on this channel that shows you what you can do with the mobile app once you're on board a celebrity ship. If you're not subscribed, I recommend that you do so so that you don't miss that video and other cruise videos from the Celebrity Solstice as well as from the Royal Princess from our Alaska cruise we will be doing this summer.